Hey everybody, Woo! I am at the Nutty Club here downtown. I am so excited to be here. We have one of the, I would say the biggest project truck that I've ever taken on. This has been in our, in and out of our shop. Huge shout out to all the people involved, House of Chrome, Mario over at Eastside Collision and everybody involved in this project. This has been a huge team effort. I can't wait to show this truck to you. You have to watch the whole thing. Let's get into it. All right, like I said, we are downtown here. I got my W9 shirt on and we are on location. I've only been here three other times for videos. And if you spec and order a truck this wild, you have to be a little nutty. So this is the Nutty Club location and the Nutty Club building behind me here. We're downtown Winnipeg. And here is a piece of heaven. This truck is called a piece of heaven, triple sevens, and we'll get into what that means. Triple sevens, triple heaven. Wow, a piece of heaven. Look at that truck. The most amount of work that I've ever put into aftermarket add-ons on a truck went on this. A uh, huge amount of paint work, huge amount of chrome. Again, Eastside Collision was heavily involved in this truck. Mario and your team did a fantastic job. Everything from painting all of the black components on the truck, the bumper, the cab, the steps, the def tank, the fuel tank, the deck plate, painted the air breathers purple, painted the visor, painted the chops, repainted the roof. We'll get into all this stuff here. Huge kudos to Mario and your team. Fantastic job. It just turned out insane. James and Russell over at House of Chrome hanging most of the jewelry on this truck just did an awesome job too. They do fantastic work. 
wow, just unbelievable. So let's get into a little bit of the specs and I'll show you what it's all about. So where I always like to start is right up front. We got this heavy duty road train moose bumper. So this is a herd bumper. Uh, we got the slam latch with the dual lock pin on it. Painted black to match the cab. This is the emerald green effect. So it's, you can see that little emerald purple and green in there. And then that's also on the bumper. We painted out the headlight surrounds. Uh, this was an afterthought. We did this like a few days before a uh, customer showed up here. We have the truck's headlights in here. So these are the chrome black on the back side of it to match everything. We did the chrome surround painted black because this was unpainted when everything else was and it just was like, we got to finish this. So there's so many things that we changed kind of on the fly on this project. Painted the grill all around and then painted, painted the grill bars all black as well. Uh, wow, I'm just so speechless. Just look at this amazing truck. It's looking awesome. So a little bit about this truck. This truck uh, is gonna be owned and operated by JRD Transport. And uh, Tyler Dendecker is gonna be driving this unit proudly down the road in the Kitchener to Peterborough all uh, area. He's gonna be pulling a quad axle stainless tanker uh, hauling milk products. And uh, you gotta watch out for it. This is gonna be a head turner. It is unbelievable. So up here on the front, we have the scallops painted on. So uh, this is something that I drew out for Tyler while we were in the process of specking the truck and, and before we even put an order in, uh, we tried different combos and uh, we decided to go with the black in front and kind of stripe it down the side. So that is not vinyl, that is paint right on there. Uh, we did the painted air cleaners. With, this is actually the first time I've ever painted air cleaners on a truck. So uh, we have that. You can see up in here, we have in air cleaner lights. So that is uh, from trucks as well. Uh, we have dual revolution lights in here. So that is all the way across. These go amber or purple. So we can flip them uh, between the two. Tyler wanted to have these seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, and seven on the bumper there. So we got seven purple bumpers. So there's seven. We got seven on the back. And we got seven up top. Triple sevens, a piece of heaven. Name of this truck. It's a little nutty too. <laughs> so back to the air cleaners. So those air cleaners were painted. Uh, we put the Shift products, uh, three bar lights down the front here. So that is uh, from Shift. Had them uh, custom design it, spaced them out for us with their bracket. So thank you to the guys at Shift for helping out with that. We have this here from, uh, I believe this is Roadworks, if I'm not mistaken, just based on the logo there. Uh, we have the clear watermelon LEDs. We got amber on front and red on the backside. DPF was smooth polished, painted black. DPF cover painted black and then the fuel tanks painted black and everything polished up. We had these cab panels custom made. Uh, House of Chrome took care of that for us. And then we put the light holes where we exactly wanted them. Uh, we cut that in here. This actually came stainless, which is what comes from the factory. It does not come painted. So we actually had to paint that stainless and uh, carry the stripes through after the fact. Uh, it was originally painted all black. But then uh, looking at it, I'm like, nope, we need to have those purple lines extend through it. So really nice how that, uh, how that came through. Studio sleeper, it is sitting on a 280 inch wheelbase. Studio sleeper, no sleeper extenders. Uh, as far as the exhaust pipes, we have the seven inch pipes. Those are 54 talls and those are the chop tops. Just look at that sun just beaming down it looking awesome. On the mirror, we have the shift product turn signal light right here and uh, that's from shift now up top on the roof here this was a huge undertaking so it came with the five lights from the factory how do you get th those lights nice and tight like that in the middle well what we ended up doing is we took them all off sent it to mario at the paint shop they filled the holes they fiberglassed it smoothed it over repainted the whole roof the roof was shaved clean we knocked off the nubs for the uh, satellite. We knocked off the nubs for the antenna for the radio. So it's nice and clean. 
and then uh, the guys at House of Chrome installed those lights five tight and two on the outside. So we have got uh, the triple seven up top. Awesome. That visor is humongous. It is, uh, it is legal in all states and across Canada. Yes, it is legal. Uh, I will tell you the dimensions. It is legal on that side, going to a legal curve uh, into the middle and then back down to another legal side on the other side there. So this is beautiful. And then we also did, I don't know what side, I think it's 15 to 13 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have the window chops to match the height of the other side. And it is like a, a squirrel looking out of a knot hole of a tree sitting in that truck looking out it is uh, a little intimidating actually uh, sitting behind the wheel of this truck i've driven it a little bit and uh, but you definitely get a lot of head turns which is pretty cool now obviously you can see all the lights all lit up here just looking beautiful with the seven purple down the side here uh, we have that panel here with the uh, oil pan and your uh, block heater as well there's the batteries inside that polished smooth battery box, all painted black. We had this ACE toolbox installed. So that's a spot where uh, shoes can go so that when you walk inside this truck, you're not wearing shoes in and out. And little details that we paid attention to, uh, this logo from ACE is actually red. So that comes red. And so that was gonna go back on. I looked at it, I said, no guys, we gotta paint that black to match everything. So we put that on there and it is black to match everything and it just pops looks awesome so this side of the truck looks actually like it's only one color all black uh, which is really neat and then uh, the other side obviously when the sun hits it you can tell the difference so we have dual fuel tanks here that line up perfect straps line up perfect the gap here the gap here perfect 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 it's the goal of building a truck my goal every time i build a truck is perfection there is no room for failure. Uh, if there is a problem, we'll make it right. That's what I try and do. So we got the seven lights across the back here. These are always red. Uh, so we got the five in the middle and the two on the outside. The underglow right here, that's from Shift Products. <coughs> Painted emerald uh, black frame. And then we did this deck plate with the emerald black paint on that too, along with the airline box here. So uh, one thing that the customer is going to finish up is uh, either quick couplers or glad hand connectors right here for the airlines. Uh, wasn't sure on how we want to do that. So uh, just time constraints, we had to get this truck finished. And that's one thing that was left undone. We had these fenders installed here, House of Chrome. Just awesome. Love the stainless down the middle here. And uh, those mounts are really nice too. Very heavy duty. We got Michelin tires on it and we got the mirror polished rims. Uh, disc brakes all the way around on this truck and uh, the nice thing about these tub fenders they go right down so we actually took out the factory uh, mud flap hangers on the back and uh, I should have done that before we sent it to the cleanup shop otherwise that wouldn't that dirt wouldn't have been there but uh, oops is what it is 373 gears super 40 rears with an oil pump on it like I said disc brakes on the back here and then on this side we have your polished rims just perfection look at that nice clean frame rail no cross member bolt holes kind of in the middle there nice and clean uh, actually those two there that's where the mid frame marker lights were uh, had them taken off blow in the frame clean it up nice and clean and then the fuel tank there so we've kind of walked around this truck two or three times on the outside uh, let's open up the hood here I know it's a little bit of a job to do with them but you know what we are on location and we better better get it done so okay so so now you can really get a good look at that grill uh, see how that was all done so that was all taken off and uh, and painted and it looks super cool <laughs> Unbelievable. So over here we have the Cummins X15. X15 565 Performance Series. It is the 1850 torque rating on it. Uh, fuel 382 fuel water separator from Davco. 
we have the power steering fluid and filter right there engine oil check your oil fill is down below uh, we have the little work lights i like to put on trucks right on there that's just underneath uh, here is the hood support so that is basically to prevent the hoods from sagging as you're driving down the road the hood is vibrating and bouncing those just help to support things and then i also to make it uh, to make it a little easier to open up the hood i like to put this bar across the middle there uh, wow i feel like i'm talking a mile a minute so much to cover in this truck uh, i'm so excited to bring this truck to you guys I, i'm sure you can see it and hear it in my voice uh, i've been with the customers uh, with tyler and taylor uh, the last few days here and uh, just showing them around the city taking them out for dinner and uh, putting them up in a hotel and all that and it's just been a really nice experience spending all this time with them so uh, officially tyler thank you so much for spending all this time with me uh, it's been a lot of fun over the phone for the last uh, six or eight months or so putting this project together uh, and and joel uh, joel dykstra at jrd farms thank you so much for putting your trust in me and tyler to put this truck together so thank you so much guys really appreciate it so back to the engine here cummins great product powerhouse love it go around the other side here hot side we got your turbo we got your accessories up front here there's the other little light down there uh, there's those support brackets and uh, you can see the other side of the hood hinge reinforcement there so let's close up the hood. I have a lot of stuff to cover inside this truck. Tons of custom work done inside as well. So let's get into that. Okay, so first and foremost, before you get into a truck, this cherry, you better take your dang shoes off. I got my Caterpillar socks on, as you've maybe seen in the past. So, Looking inside here, we have the Diamond VIT in black here. Of course, it's uh, what you would do on a truck like this. Uh, down here, we have the seats. So these are the Sears uh, ultra leather seats that were installed. We took out the seat base and uh, mounted them to this uh, from Shift Products. So this is for the, uh, the low mount seat base. So you can get this truck sitting really low to the ground, which is really sharp. Now this truck does have a rubber floor just for the main reason that uh, they're in and out of farm deliveries and uh, sometimes you just got to jump into the truck uh, kick your boots and, and jump in if it's raining you're gonna have to deal with it sometimes so there you go now I hope you guys are ready for this we did a full paint on the dash uh, so we painted the dash panels purple as you can see that is all purple all throughout there to match the exterior of the truck like come on uh, we have this SRI steering wheel with the purple, which looks really cool. And there's the backside of that frame. Like I said, look at or the uh, backside of that visor. Just It's just like a knot hole. Uh, painted that up top as well. And then you can see those window chops looking out there. You got a uh, really nice uh, view there. Uh, we have an 18 speed manual transmission in this truck and uh, full locking differentials, 373 gearing, uh, as far as the switches we have, there's your full lockups, there's your air dump, there's your power divider, fifth wheel slide, cruise, your jakes, your hazards, air suspension through the trailer, cord, traction control for the truck, auxiliary lights outside, PTO switch, your regen switch. Here's your backup lights on the, uh, the back, the lower, and then that's for the upper. There's a trailer hotline switch, uh, there's an engine fan, uh, your bunk lights, and then your cab lights. So there you go. Up above CB radio and then uh, let's jump into the bunk here now there is a few things in here uh, that were used this truck is going to be driven back in so it's uh, it's it's uh, basically going to be a lived-in truck here for the next uh, couple of days on the way back to their home as they drive back from Winnipeg I uh, loan them my vehicle and let them run to Walmart and uh, load up so big thank you to Walmart thank you Walmart yeah, they're not a sponsor of this video i i wish that'd be really cool but no they're they're not so but uh again house of chrome east side collision shift products inline truck and equipment at our dealership wow huge kudos to everybody involved in this project uh lindsay thank you so much for your help with the cb radio on this truck awesome job uh okay we got your cabinets here cabinets here fridge down below 
Uh, we have the old school fan right up there. We got cup holder, we have your ashtray and a power outlet, three of them to be exact. Uh, we have that back storage up there. And then over here is the sleeper uh, controls in the back there. We have the factory installed SPAR heater. We got alarm clock up there, your lights and your HVAC control over there. We ordered it with uh, the lower cabinets and then the door right here, along with on that side too. Upper bunk, which is kind of used as a shelf for now on their travels. And uh, there you go. Um, I hope I covered everything on this truck. Bazinga, like, I don't know what to say. Amazing. Amazing. So I'm gonna do something different here that I haven't done in, I don't think in a long time. I'm just gonna do some improv. Actually, I kind of improv these videos all the time, but we're gonna go walk over to Tyler as we do the sign off and uh, say goodbye. As this truck, like I say, was and is probably to date one of the largest project trucks that I've ever worked on. Uh, definitely set some records, so pretty amazing. So uh, again, here we are in downtown Winnipeg. We're gonna be going out on the town a little bit tonight, taking a few pictures here and there. Uh, check out the Instagram, check out Facebook, check out Snapchat, all the things you can go up to my website, thekenworthguy.com and uh, check out all of that there. So, uh, so here we got Tyler. <laughs> so Tyler, a huge thank you for purchasing this truck. It's, uh, it's been a ton of fun putting this together with you. Uh, what, what should all my subscribers do or, or the people watching this video do right now? Like and follow your videos. Yeah, right on. I love it. Thanks. That, here's 20 bucks. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching. Again, thank you to Tyler. Thanks to Joel. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you are interested in specking and ordering a truck like this with me, by all means, give me a call. I'm up for the challenge. Uh, I sure enjoy putting these types of trucks together. So uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.